April 25th, 2012. Do you know what happens on this special day? It is World Malaria Day, an international day to promote awareness. It is an awareness and promotion of resources and new updates on malaria around the world. Malaria is transmitted by a parasite in mosquitoes that infects red blood cells. It can become life-threatening when untreated, causing several health issues. In addition to infection by mosquitoes, malaria is also transmitted by mother to fetus, blood transfusion, and needle injections. So, how has malaria affected us? According to a recent Lancet study, 1.24 million people died of malaria in 2010. Before this study was published, it was thought to be around 655,000. Although a majority of the 1.24 million are children, the number of deaths in children from malaria has been decreasing. However, malaria is found to be increasing in those who are five years and older. The increase of malaria in an older age group and the total number of deaths put a new reality to the battle of malaria. It calls for a change in the Millennium Development Goals. We know the total deaths and the distribution of malaria among age groups. The change in parasites, though, that cause malaria is another thing. Even more recently, another Lancet study was released on malaria drug resistance. Researchers studied a drug resistance strain that was found in Cambodia. Elimination of the resistance strain Falciparum malaria was possible but needed to be controlled and contained. The study looked at whether or not the strain had already spread to another place. The plant artisamin is most commonly used to treat malaria. However, patients in Cambodia were noticed to not be recovering with artisman as fast as they used to be. It is important to note that the malarial resistance does not mean artisman is not working anymore. According to the UN Special Envoy for Malaria, it is taking longer for the parasite to clear from the blood, not that the drugs are completely useless. Unfortunately, the resistance found in Cambodia is also emerging in the Burma-Thailand border region. In a few years, it could take the parasite in the Burma-Thai region just as long to clear from the blood as is the case in Cambodia. Untreated malaria could spread unknowingly, and thus it is imperative that more studies find any forms of malarial drug resistance. Other goals of fighting malaria include modifying realistic millennium development goals, keeping up funding and not drawing back resources just yet, encouraging research of resistant malaria so that it can be contained. The best thing that people could do is be aware of how malaria is affecting our world. Learn, be proactive, and tell others. The theme this year for World Malaria Day is Sustain, Save Lives, Invest in Malaria. Will you be a part of the change?